Let's start with the top secret lesson number one, why a winning attitude is so important for your life. Attitude is the perfect place to start with our secret lessons. You know when you have a good attitude about something and when you don't. If something's bothering you, do you complain about it? That won't help. You must learn to respond to situations, to learn more, to find out what you don't understand about them. For example, you receive an email and you think it's disrespectful. Some, someone's saying something to you that you don't like. What do you do? Do you react and write back all nasty? Or do you respond and find out what's wrong? What might you be missing? Sometimes it's not easy to take the time to respond to find out more, but you've got to learn how to control your attitude. Top secret lesson number two. What is your mind and how does it control your destiny? You must learn to live outside of your five senses. There's so much more when you study the six intellectual factors. Imagination, reason, perception, intuition, the will, and memory. Everything starts to change when you take over your power of thought. With reason, you've got to learn that how to use your inductive reasoning factor. It's an amazing tool. It gives you such freedom. It gives you the ability to choose your thoughts. Your will. You have the ability to develop mental strength. And this strength is your will. It's what keeps you focused on your goals. It's a mental muscle that allows you to concentrate on studying. It's what helps you stay home on a Friday night instead of going out with your friends. You've got to learn to have the will. Let me give you an example of perception. I'm certain that you'll agree with me that your attitude is a definitely an influencing factor with your success in all areas of your life. Your perception of a situation will, will determine your attitude. Ideas and places can be viewed by different points of view. So if two individuals are looking at the same situation but they're in disagreement, take a look at their perception. It's possible they're discussing two totally different things from a different perception. I learned this lesson from John Asraf in 2008. Have you ever seen the logo on the FedEx vehicle? Can you see the arrow in between the E? Look at the FedEx logo right now. Your brain cannot focus on the arrow and the E at the same time. So do you realize that you can't look at two things for, at the same time and experience two different perceptions? You can only focus on one perception. So realize that your perception is limited and try to look at the other side of the situation. See things from another person's point of view. The memory, it's also an amazing faculty of your mind. Try to focus on um, learning things, memorizing things,